Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. This will be... Um, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and uh, Sagittarius Rising Weekly Tower Reading April 22nd to April 28th, 2019 And uh, as soon as I'm done with the shuffling <clears throat> I will go to the reading guys uh, Just let me know in the comments down below Do you prefer me to shuffle uh, in front of the camera Like I'm doing right now Or should you shuffle on screen so we don't uh, waste any time so that being said, going to the uh, Sagittarius' tarot reading here, the first card that we do have for them that is going to be the Judgment, which is the topic of their week, followed by the second card, which is the challenge that Sagittarius needs to overcome here, that is going to be the uh, Two of Swords, followed by the third card, which is the Positivity in this week, or the Positive Aspect, what helps you throughout the week, that is going to be the Three of Cups. And the last one, we do have the guidance for you guys, which is the Six of Cups. So once again, we do have the Judgment as the first card, followed by the second, which is the uh, Two of Swords. After that, it is the third one, which is the Three of Cups. And the last one that we do have, that is going to be the Six of Cups. So just from the overview of the reading here, you are going to have a tremendous opportunity given here throughout this week. And um, pretty much everything points that you gotta take it as a matter of fact the people that uh, you are associating yourself with your friends your family you know your husband or wife they will encourage you truly to take it although the, the opportunity itself may look a little bit either unproductive uh scary as well or inefficient at at first glance now the topic here that we do have Sagittarius is for you that is going to be the judgment so the judgment is about the wake-up call the judgment is like the solution that once require you know the solution to your marriage the solution to your career a solution that until this very moment you did not have at all and that's why probably you were wobbling in between multiple uh, choices multiple options available which neither of them either uh, which neither of them served you any purpose but now now with the judgment it seems that everything falls into place because the judgment is all about that everything starts to become meaningful everything now it's it's like i said making sense and one really knows what one should do in order to either get out of a uh, difficult situation or to push their things through. Judgment asks uh, a preach for union and reunion, very, very positive when we talk about business relationships, reconciliations, and romantic relationships as well. But the thing with the judgment is that this is, like I said, a wake-up call. And one can decide to uh, answer the call or could decide completely to ignore it so uh, that's why if you desperately want something beautiful to happen into your life you gotta answer the call the call comes in many uh, in many different cases you know it could be um that you are going to meet someone on accident in the pub that you are in and you can have a, a huge impression into this guy or a girl you know it could be that amazing opportunity coming to you from unknown party member uh, that 
presents you a new job and so on and so forth. The call is going to be different for every single one of you. The accompanied card here is going to be the Hierophant. So the combination or the formation that we do have is active neutrals. It's going to go outside of your beliefs, guys. What I mean is that uh, you wouldn't thought about that thing before. Meaning that, for example, if this is a, a romantic endeavor here, the person that appears to be your core that you can unite with is not going to be a kind of a person that you would usually going to associate yourself with. Uh, the call, if it is about reconciliation, is going to be a from a ex that you least expected to get reconciled with. All right, so it's not going to be about that ex which you are heartbroken and you desperately want them in your life. All right, it's going to be someone else, and that's why it's going to be different. Uh, it's going to depend should you answer the call or not. And probably this is why you're going to feel apprehensive of answering this call, making the connection, making the union, making the reconciliation and thus sorting your life out. Uh, and um, as we said, the, uh, you are to be apprehensive. That is the challenge here with the Two of Swords, sitting on a, a precious balance of opinions and decisions that needs to be taken not wanting to disrupt the balance that this precious balance that you are in. The thing here with the Two of Swords, guys, is that you don't even have to. I mean, uh, that if you are patient enough, and that is the challenge here, to be patient enough, uh, the uh, right choice is going to become obvious to you, all right? So you don't have to kind of like um, um, figure out a, a rocket science you don't have to jeopardize anything in your life. It's just you need to leave that either opportunity or a person, you know, to present itself lucrative to you. And that will happen with time. It is just just because it is not the the ex-boyfriend, for example, that you hoped is going to come around. Do not deny this one, but just let them linger around until you make up final decisions. You just don't, like I said, do not kill that opportunity in a feeder stage just because at the first glance you don't see any potential in it. So in uncovering the true potential of your wake-up call is going to be the challenge for you to understand. Uh, like I said, uh, waiting is going to help you do so and that usually manifests itself through a additional information that comes around and as, uh, when you scale that information incorporated in the situation, you will see that the most logical and beneficial way to do is to actually, like I said, answer the call. Additionally to that, uh, we do have the Knights of Pentacles, so the formation is a active enemies. <clears throat> And it's going to seem frantic, all right? The whole thing is not going to make any sense to you, at, at least at the first glance. And further, the more you wait, the more sense is going to become. And the challenge here as well is that it's not going to be what you want or it's not going to be what you have expected, just like I said, because the Knights of Pentacles is the one who knows what one wants. You know what you want, but the challenge is going to be that it's not going to be what you want, all right? but it's going to be what you need. So that therefore you will have to uh, be, uh, well, I don't know. I don't want to say you have to be grateful for the opportunity here. All right. But you need to have that acute awareness of how big blessing basically it is offered to you to do. And just because it is not what you have expected to be, uh, do not turn that um, opportunity and that chance, you know, to improve your circumstances and your life as well out. Uh, additionally to that, the whole thing with these couple of cards is going to be a bit chaotic. It's not going to be with the slow phase that you would like to take it on. But it is what it is, guys. And uh, eventually, you know, you will, well, you will have to do something about your current, uh, your current stage. Or your current situation and why don't you like i said you know um seize that opportunity coming around which actually everybody that knows you is gonna urge you to do so we do have the three of cups as a positivity so we're talking about here about cooperation and cooperation in a sense cooperation with people that are there to your heart people which loves you now these people are going to truly see the benefits from this uh wake up call all right even if you don't so through associating yourself with them or through cooperating yourself um, um, 
through cooperating with them, you are to expand your vision, you are to see the true benefits that lies behind this new option available coming around you, coming for you, excuse me, even if it is not the option available that you hoped for. Additionally to that, the Three of Cups is very positive for very early stages of one's endeavor. So let's say you start a new job, all right? And that card, it is a very promising card that you are going to have a very, very early fruits of your labor, making a, a very solid impression that you fit well in the, um, in the picture here in the new company, all right? And you are capable to do whatever duty is assigned to you uh, additionally. The accompanied card here, that is going to be the nine of wands. So formation is a passive enemy once again, and as a passive enemy here, um, how can I describe it? Uh, well, with the nine of wands, one does those kind of necessary uh, conscious changes in order to make their life more comfortable and more bearable. But that with this card as in an active enemy to the tree of to the tree of cups, all those that, those people which you are associating yourself with are gonna tell you is that you don't have to do anything more. The only thing that you need to do is basically extend your hand and grasp this um, this opportunity, this wake up call answer the call which presents to you and manifests to you through the uh, through the judgment a very uh, superficial uh, reading what I mean is that it's very broad reading because the judgment yeah it does point to union and reunion but it does not say anything beyond that in a general reading all right it needs to have a narrative meaning your question in order to have to to obtain a, a deeper understanding in what the judgment is trying to tell you but in this uh, follow-up of reading here you are to have an, an opportunity sagittarius says to make your life more meaningful or rather like to um having an enterprise in your life which is going to make you first happy and second occupied and third as well um, much much more um, I could say proficient in the sense of that you will kind of see or rather like feel that you do matter in the picture as well and for many of you that will be the very desired way you know to resolve a huge and be complicated situations uh, in your life and uh, the guidance here that we do have for you Sagittarius is that is going to be the six of cups so six of cups as a guidance it does relate to the small things in life meaning that you need to see the small benefits first that comes around with this um, with this new path or with this new option available and to be grateful for the small blessings that this thing kind of presents to you at the first glance additionally to that six of cups it does represent a uh, a creative endeavor as well so you gotta be quite creative when it comes to your uh, your undertakings for throughout the week and always seek uh the play the pleasant uh, the pleasant side or rather like be prone more to the pleasant side of one performance and on one endeavor as well because you know everything that you do it's like a coin it has as uh, ace ace and tails and you can't have the coin without having both sides so everything has its pros and cons you know but you have to be more prone to the um to the prospects rather than the consequences here. And uh, the uh, Hermit here with the Six of Cups as a guidance, it only points that this is going to be your new direction in life, that maybe you aren't going to apply, uh, upload at the start, you know, but should you exert it with intelligent moves and being very wise about what kind of, uh, uh, you know, how you are to proceed with it moving forward is going to involve in a, a very substantial chapter in which chapter you are to find uh, your calling. All right. So we, we are talking about here definitely about your calling. OK, and you need to be aware enough to uh, to take it to one of your callings. OK, it may not be what you are expected. Uh, and for sure, for almost all of you, it's not going to be what you have expected, you know, but you gotta take it. It's simply as it's simple as that. If you don't, you are God knows how long you are going to feel yourself unfulfilled if you are feeling yourself that way. 
So you have the chance to start feeling yourself fulfilled throughout this week. And uh, this was the uh, reading for you, Sagittarius, for April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, I hope that we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.